everyone, this is Pia Sharon coming to you with a how to video. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to get next week date and last week date in Power BI. It's pretty simple how to do this, just a little bit of formula here and there, and it's that's it, you're good to go. So, uh, what uh, we are doing over here is so getting the next week date of a Monday and the last week date of Tuesday. Sounds pretty crazy, right? But it is very simple. Let me just take you through it. <laughs> okay, so next week date. Okay, so the formula we have used here is today's, that is today's date, minus we are using the weekday function over here which retain, returns an integer value of the day. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, uh, every every day of the week is represented by, an, by a number. So Sunday is 1, then Monday is 2, mm -hmm. the, um, Tuesday is 3 and so on. Yeah, so... Um, uh, and then we are adding a value over here plus 8. Let's see what it's doing over here. Okay, so if you take today's date, okay, and see, no, it says today, week day, today, 2. 2 means it is taking the day which is Monday, right? So it's returning the date of a Monday okay, and it is adding 8 to it. So it is, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 is, ta -da, 1st of June, 2020. And which is and that also is a Monday. Pretty great, right? Now let's see um, last week date. Okay, last week date is supposed to be Tuesday, right? So how is, th is that done? It's again taking. So it's again taking the date as uh, Monday into consideration. Yeah. So if you see here, it's taking today to minus five, right? So today two is again taking 25th of May and then minus five from here. So uh, one, two, three, four, five is there. There you go. You're getting it as 19th of May, which is a Tuesday. Yay. See, pretty simple formula, right? So it's very easy to figure out the next week and the last week dates. You can do lots of things with it. Um, suppose your, your client is asking you to figure out how many customers you have got to have signed up between uh, next week and last week. That is, uh, next um, I mean, uh, between last week Tuesday and next week Monday and things like that. You can easily figure out with a simple formula in Power BI. Yeah, so that's about it from my side for now. If you have any more questions regarding this, and if you want me to show you some examples of scenarios wherein we can use this, or uh, want me to go into more details regarding the weekday function here, then please do comment below. And don't forget to give it, give this video a big thumbs up and click on the subscribe button. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.